na nimeweza kuhitimu sana kiangalia hapa niko na honors eh, in uh, practical nursing na in my class I was the only person who got the honor. It is not too late to make a difference in your life. You had a real problem yes. to deal with the laptop, oh, computer. Yes. Unaambia mtu yako imehang. Yes, Mambo VP ladies and gentlemen, karibuni ndani ya Kenya Marekani. Today we've witnessed a very very huge number of Kenyans graduating with LPN and RN. Na ilikuwa shock sana kwa sababu pale kulikuwa na wakenya wengi So welcome so much to Mkenya Marekani We'll be talking to one of the people who graduated today Na nimekuwa kwenye hafla yake kubwa sana You will get to hear his story Very moving story of this gentleman here Who graduated today as you can see You can all see. introduce your name And then... Kwa majine yangu naitua Simon Koigi Na mimi ni moja wapo ya ware watu wabao siku hii ya reo wameweza kupatiwa shahada ya registered uh, uh, LPN na ninashukuru Mungu sana kwa sababu Mungu ameniwezesha eh, hiyo kipindi ambacho nimekuwa kwa shule na nimeweza kuhitimu sana kiangalia hapa niko na honors eh, in uh, practical nursing na in my class I was the only person who got the honors there were like 226 uh, students who were able to graduate today and I thank God because of the honors that I got in that class being the top student. Wow. Yes. What does it mean to you to be the top student? Uh kusema ukweli uh, ni jambo ambalo limenifurahisha sana na kumekuwa na challenges mingi uh, katika hiyo safari ya LPN na ni kusema ya kwamba kila kitu ambacho ukiwa determined kufanya hakuna mipaka ni lazima utapata uta, utaweza utafauru kwa sababu ukiwa na hiyo motivation itaweza kuwa kwamba utafauru yeah. wow yes. that's fantastic yes. what motivated first of all you to join uh, the alpian program um, i have been um, one of the people who like taking care of of the disadvantaged in the society and as we all know here in the United States we have so many people who have challenges like in their health and um, as one of the people who is an immigrant from uh, Kenya I feel like I am associating myself with those people who have those challenges and putting like hope in their lives because some of them they look so desperate they need that last help in in their life so that they are able now to have like hope and um, through that i was motivated and uh, it became to it became to me like i need to do something in my own personal level so that i can put a smile in the face of the um, those old people or the unfortunate in the society here in the united states of america That's fantastic. Considering your age, it means you have a family. I do. You have responsibility. Uh, you have a lot of things that were going on. Uh, how did you balance between uh, all these uh, hassles and puzzles? Uh, thank you, um, Kenya Marikani. Uh, it has not been very easy, honestly. As uh, you rightly put it, I'm a, um, a family man. I'm married. I have a wife and three children who, even when I'm in school, they were also in school. They have been in school even now. And it has not been very easy to take care of everything. But God has enabled me. Like there was times I used to go to work, like a few hours, to just make a living. And by that time, I was also taking care of my family. So the little amount of money that you get, because this is a full-time uh, course that you need to be there all the time, uh, seven, uh, five days in a week. And even during the two, the holiday, um, the, the weekend, you are still doing your homework because on Monday you are supposed to submit some papers. But God enabled me to try and balance so I could give a priority to my homework, to my, my job, and to my family. Wow. 
you you also talked about uh, I, i had in your speech you talked about uh, expedited like this course is accelerated yes. so it means you do a lot on your own oh yes uh, honestly speaking when you go to a nursing school they even tell you that they can never deliver the whole thing it is now upon you they just deliver a third of the content of the course and it is your responsibility now to do the two thirds and most of the time what i used to do is um when we are done like 1 pm or 12 pm i was going to the library and spend much of my time over there i try to do all my homework and try to catch up with every requirement of the course because this is one course you cannot afford to fail because one you fail because it has a very high mark uh, to pass Yeah. So you have to be very very keen on your work and every every subject matters everything even as i say today anything like 10 marks even your attendance you cannot afford to be out of class for two consecutive days so it is a total commitment and macu i live in lakewood and uh, i was traveling uh, to oregon where the school is yeah. and sometimes i used to go to when we have like clinicals i used to leave at around 2 a.m. because you have to be in the clinical site by 6 6 a.m. in the morning and you are not even supposed to be late for 15 minutes so it was a total determination and uh, whatever evaluation the teacher does to you like the clinicals it counts on your marks wow yes wow yeah. but at the end of the uh, the day you said when you graduated and your pockets also graduated oh yes <laughs> definitely and that's why i want to encourage my fellow uh, listeners today yeah. uh, in mkenya, mkenya marikani this is a country where you, you add an extra qualification your pocket is added some more so i would encourage people to do something different it may not be nursing like i did it can be anything else but don't stop there always aim high yeah. if you cannot go to nursing school do something different that will help you to make uh, more money mm-hmm. but for this one um, those who are in the nursing um, they once you get that certificate mm-hmm. it boost your it boost your income tremendously absolutely yes Amazing amazing I was there in your graduation yes. and first of all thank you for inviting me thank you because I've never seen a huge number of Kenyans yes graduating like that yes and that shows you the resilience and the determination of the Kenyan community I salute them like when I was in school uh, I could see young and old they are determined to make a difference in their life and you know back in Kenya where we came from There was no such opportunities. You do it here, you add some knowledge to yourself, it adds to your satisfaction. You don't need to do all those doubles, you know. Yeah. For you maybe to sustain your life over here. Because also we need our lives. Why do we have to burn ourselves out when we can do something extra in order to boost our income? Mm-hmm. And I would encourage even Kenyans here. Please um even 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 if it is not nursing in whatever you you do excel make sure that you do to your level best yeah. you know and it's gonna boost you yeah yes one thing i i, I got a really, a, a really excited is because you started as a cna but you told me right now you can be able to put an order and a cna will be doing on your behalf <laughs> <laughs> that came on a light, uh, on, on a, a lighter right, note on a lighter <laughs> note uh, that's what happens yeah. in nursing um, when you go to the next level Yeah. There's some responsibilities that come with it. Yeah. And one of the responsibilities is to delegate authority to those who are below you. Yeah. You are not the um, boss. boss yeah. Of course. It is the requirement that goes with it. And actually when we are doing this and they understand. I like our uh, those people who are in CNA. Yeah. They do a lot of good job. The motivation there is um, um the work they do. It's not like the nurse is doing nothing. Yeah. because like when you go to like example a nursing home there is so much responsibility of a nurse especially in documentation taking care of those uh, client on a higher note yeah. 
like you can do wood care, you can do catheter, you can do insert catheter, you can do ostomy bags, you can administer, you can give oxygen and all that. Yeah. You know, and there's some, some subscription that goes from maybe the doctor mm -hmm. that the LPN who is trained yeah. can be able to administer even uh, things to do with diabetes. Um, the way you manage it with a sliding scale or you use the wrong acting insulin and all that, it requires that you go to school to run all that. Wow. Yeah. There's somebody here who wants to join LPN today. Yes. What are the requirements? Um, uh, I will give an example to where I came from, that is Samna in Portland. One of the most uh, required things, you must be um, have a high school diploma. And uh, it doesn't matter, back in Kenya, you got your uh, high school diploma, that's one. Uh, the second thing, uh, there is what we call the entrance exam. In uh, Samna College, we call it the acupressor. Yeah. It is testing you in mathematics and uh, English, uh, both written and uh, spoken. And uh, you have to attain like 85 uh, uh, percent yeah. so that you are qualified now to be entered into the program. Mm -hmm. Yes. So if you don't qualify that time, what do you do? When you, if you don't qualify, they give you another chance. Uh, they always give you chances where you can now repeat again and you book for another acupressure exam. And uh, when you are lucky, you, you get it. Yeah. Then they enter in, you into the uh, program. Mm. Then when you enter into the program, there is the requirement of the essays. You have to write like three essays. Uh, and those S's, they just ask you, why do you want to become a nurse? Yeah. So they have different categories in the three. Like now you submit it to the school, then the school is able now to enroll you in that. Mm. Yeah. Wow. What's your plan now? I have already uh, enrolled myself in um, RN program. Where? The ball is still rolling. The ball is still rolling. Mkenya <laughs> Marikan. Uh, Lazima. Lazima to find your Yeah, yeah. The good thing with this one is, uh, unlike the previous one which I've acquired today, I'm able now to go through on it, accumulate all my credits. Mm -hmm. Then at the, end, at the end of it all, I'm able now to do my NCREX exam. And uh, there are so many colleges which are assisting uh, people to do that. Wow. So I'm there. That's fantastic. Kazi Bado. So what's the, right name? what's the right name for, for us to call you, including this honor? This is a non. Uh, I had uh, it's a, it, it has a name. What's the name? Like uh, honorary. Uh, no, no, there, there's something you call it. Oh, number forty-six something something. Oh, that is cohort number forty-nine. Yeah. That is uh, a class of a student that we they, they normally put in cohort. Yeah. Depending on the um, how you enter the college, uh, it go progressively. As we were in cohort number forty-nine, there is another cohort fifty that graduated with us today. Now they are enrolling cohort number. There's 51, mm. 52 is continuing. Those numbers are showing how many times have the school so, enrolled uh, students there. Yeah. Yeah. So in your group, you are the only one who got the highest. In my class, I was, the, I was number one. And, wait, uh, wait, wait. Stop, stop, stop for one minute. Stop for one minute and clap yeah. wherever you are. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I give this uh, glory to God. Yeah. It is not my own making. There were so many challenges, like I said, it has not been very easy. Yeah. At my um, my prime age, um, yeah. I had I, I had sorry I, I had you you when you entered there you had a real problem yes. to deal with the laptop oh, computer. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, that is you know in our system and you know before I uh, I entered the um, the program uh, in the year 2021 in. Um, the month of September the 27th, when I entered into that class, before then, the last time I was in class was in 1994. Yes, you had me right. Wow. So you remember those times in Kenya? We never used to have the computer thing, and the computer was like a whole course. And by that time, we did not get the opportunity to run so much. Yeah. Although I went to, to do some computer. But the job I was doing was not requiring all that. So when I got into class the first day, um, I was like, how do I start this one? I had to 
to to uh, ask some of my uh, fellow students uh, to help me set up the program so that I can roll in it, so that I can be able to do my homework. And I remember another thing I did not say during the Graduation. when I was uh, giving uh, my speech. Uh -huh. I even turning the the homework. You know, you have to turn it through uh, uh, the computer itself. Yeah so that you submit it through the computer. I remember the very first um, assignment I had was ANP, Anatomy and Physiology. I had to go all the way to record to a registered nurse uh, called Wangari, who works in Western State, so that she can help me know how to submit the, 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 the the assignment. The assignment yeah. Yes, the assignment. And we went through the ANP part and we were able to go through the book and we were able to turn it. And uh, she taught me a lot. Wow. So I owe you, Wangari, a lot of respect, you know? Yeah. So yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Were you the oldest in your class? There was, there was another gentleman who shared the almost a similar age. Mm -hmm. But honestly, uh, another thing I did not mention during my speech is that we were only two gentlemen. And they were like 22 ladies. Yeah. You can see that, the balance. That tells you how much the boy child need to up their game. Yeah. Or maybe they're involved in other businesses. Yeah. But during my time, we were only two guys. Uh, myself and Lion, the rest of them were ladies. Uh, we, we discussed that and we said men, they are in the business yes. of looking for money to take the ladies to, back to school. <laughs> <laughs> and I believe that and um, I would say like, that's why you see most of them, they are still stuck in whatever they started with, the CNA. Yeah. And I don't blame anybody because uh, there are challenges that come with it. But I know as we set the pace, uh, most of them will follow. Yes, yes. we will follow suit. You follow suit. And not forgetting to say that on the RN program, was it a Kenyan also who led that uh, group as well? Oh, there was a good Kenyan uh, ready who had um, uh, honors in RN. And actually it is RN to BSN program. Yeah. And we can do it. We are there. Wow. We will do it. Yes. So, we are America. Yes. We are clever and we can do what Americans can do because oh, yes. we are equal to the task. I understand that and yeah. I breathe that uh, Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. I appreciate your, your, your time with us yes. in Kenya Marekani. Yes. Thank you. Your story will be a huge motivation to the men out there. Yes. And uh, also to the ladies as well yeah. that uh, your dads, your uncles can still go back to class mm -hmm. and become better yes i thank you uh, so much uh, um Naina gary i know you have a good name out there and such like uh, events help a lot and it motivates so many people to do even more better so mimi nataka kuambia watazamaji wa kipindi cha siku ya leo it is not too late to make a difference in your life na mukitaka kuwa na wakati mwema mweka vizuri vizuri mkenya marikani Thank you so much. Thank you. Not adding a thing. Yes. Subscribe to our channel. Yes. God bless you. God bless you.